So it's cool times. Today we're talking about the best five blue chip NFT buys right now. And number five, I have Invisible Friends. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Is, is Invisible Friends even a blue chip? The fact of the matter is Invisible Friends only cost 0.5 ETH right now. Most blue chips are over an ETH. They did something really important recently with their Garbage Friends Mint. And that is create a lot of goodwill with their holders. So Invisible Friends holders were able to mint a Garbage Friends for 0.05 ETH. Garbage Friends is currently 0.12 ETH on OpenSea. So holders were able to get a 2.5x while people who minted Azuki Elementals are down horrendously. The people who are going to be minting Cyber Kong's Genkai later this week are going to be down horrendously. Invisible Friends actually drove value to their holders, gave them a cheap mint, a mint that went 2.5x, and I think we'll see in the rest of this year, Invisible Friends actually start to climb back up to that 1 ETH kind of baseline because holders are going to be like, cool. We sold off because there was an upcoming mint that happens every time, you know, there's an upcoming mint, everyone sells off the OG collection, that dumps. I think we'll see that work its way back up because people are gonna be like, cool, you've collabed with Kith. Garbage Friends was a success. And we never have to worry about the art because Motion Marcus, Marcus Magnuson, the artist, always produces high level quality content. There's really no execution risk. They're not like Yuga, they're not trying to build the next metaverse. They're just building NFTs. NFTs that seemingly people want. I mean, Garbage Friends did have to cut supply a little bit, but in this market, I think it did really well. Number five, I'm going Invisible Friends. And number four, best blue chip buy right now is Doodles. I know what you're thinking, okay, you're just literally shilling your bags on us right now. But honestly, I think by the end of 2023, all things will become equal between blue chips. And by the way, I'm not even putting Yuga in this list right now. Like Yuga, I think is number one. If you have a chance to get a Yuga asset, go ahead and do that. We're gonna talk about the non Yuga blue chips. But if you put everything equal, let's say Izuki grinds down somewhere closer, at least to, you know, three to two ETH, whatever. Moonbirds is at one ETH, Max around one ETH, Doodles one ETH, even Cool Cat's starting to move up to one ETH. If everything is equal, I actually like where Doodles are. If you covered up the names of all those blue chips and they're all the same value, Doodles still has Alexis Ohani and the co-founder of Reddit. They still have Pharrell. They have built an entire item economy on the Flow blockchain, which no one wants to buy Doodle socks. But again, they've still built something. They've got really cool IRL activations. They're doing a whole IRL activation this year in different pop-up shops. Art is iconic. That's one thing I will say. I'm not gonna actually, spoiler, I'm not gonna have Moonbirds in my top five. The why, the why of that is, they have a, a decent team. I would take the Doodles team over the Moonbirds, Kevin Rose of it all. The Moonbirds art just isn't that good. And if the team is not great, if you're just gonna show me a Doodle and you're gonna show me a Moonbird and say what IP has more potential, I'm going with the Doodle. And that's why I have Doodles ranked ahead of Moonbirds. Okay, number three best blue chip buy right now is actually still Azuki. And the reason is, a lot of whales are still invested in Azuki. The problem with Doodles and why Doodles will realistically never flip Azuki anytime soon in these rankings is because Doodles have zero whales. They have zero big liquidity people who are like, let me cop this rare one of one, let me do. They have completely left. They ran over to Azuki. Now the Azuki whales are upset. People like EB7, a top trader, did not like seeing Azuki go below 5 ETH, but they still have a ton of whales and for that reason alone, because they have people like Pimp Capital who are still buying spirits for over 100, 150 ETH, th that's still bullish. It's an economy I still want to believe in. And I think as the rest of the year moves on, we'll actually look back at the Azuki Elemental Mint as a complete failure, but probably not as bad as what we're going to see from some of these other projects. I mean, okay, let me take a time out right now. I want to nominate right now before we get to number two, the worst blue chip. Okay, so this is the, the blue chip. It's actually, I'm wearing your t-shirt right now. It's Cyber Kongs. This is the worst blue chip of 2023. So Cyber Kongs have raised over 60,000 ETH when you add Cyber Kongs OG and VX together. They've produced nothing of value. They have a, a banana token that's down like a thousand percent. They did a V, they've done some stuff at VCon, which is cool. That's why I have this t-shirt. But they had so many great holders. They had a ton of ETH. They spent it all in the sandbox. They didn't rally around their community. And now this Thursday, Cyber Kongs is minting out a new collection, just like Azuki Elementals with Genkai. It's a 0.25 ETH mint, which is, is funny because Cyber Kongs VX, the collection they 
last drop is actually at 0.24 ETH. So you're, you're charging mint price higher than your floor price. Hmm, weird. Also, they haven't really shown the art. They've only shown like these types of clips, which congrats to the Fiverr artist, because I'm pretty sure I bought that same exact ape looking figure in 2021. And the project immediately rubbed. The number two blue chip to buy is D-Gods, which is kind of a wild card. You probably weren't even thinking like D-Gods because you know, it just moved to ETH this year. The fact of the matter is, they have something to ship out this year. Izuki, they already blew their load. They're like the guy who, you know, got the hand job in the car and then prematurely ejaculated and the girl tries to like do some stuff inside the house and you're like, I, it already happened in the car, I'm sorry. Azuki already did Elementals. CyberCon has got Gang Gods, still has season three coming out later this year. Season three? We don't know what it is. That's actually good for price. I think price action will move up until season three. And if it's as bullish as season one and two have been for D gods, Frank doesn't really disappoint. And if he does disappoint, I'd argue Frank is the one whole, one, one owner of a project, one founder where if something goes bad, I actually believe in him to step in front of everyone, confront FUD and do it the right way. A lot of founders, when there's FUD, they're like, oh, fuck. like I've never heard like Zagabon give like a great answer. I think Frank has the ability to give a great answer. They have season three coming up. Utes is like the PFP of every big red writer on Twitter. I feel really cozy with D-God's exposure. Now, number one blue chip NFT to buy in 2023, whether it's the Rogs or the Little Pudgy, it's Pudgy Penguins. My thesis is simple. Pudgy Penguins don't have any plans of minting anything new. We're not going to get Lil Lil Pudgy Penguins. We're not going to get new rocks. They're the only blue chips that's not minting anything new. Azuki, Cash Grab, even Board of Yacht Club. Last year, they did the whole other side mint. What the fuck is going on with other? What is a coda? Okay, it's been like a year and a half. I have gigantic blue balls. Can you do something, please? Pudgy Penguins is more focused on making people love the brand and the IP, not extracting value from holders. And that's why I think whales like EB7, whales from Azuki are consolidating onto Pudgy Penguins. They know they're a good store of value because they're not gonna be lessened by an upcoming mint. You have Luca, who's over at Comic-Con, selling a bunch of Pudgy Penguins toys. And this is my main thesis, Pudgy Penguins, is the only brand in Web3, the only IP in Web3 that I can really see blowing up. And that is because in like 10 years, I could see, you know, oh guys, this weekend we're gonna go see the Pudgy Penguins movie. It's done by DreamWorks Animation. I don't think we see a Doodles movie. I don't know what a Doodle is. A Doodle's a person who like vomits rainbow. What is a Doodle just like somebody we drew and it came, I don't know what a, a Pudgy Penguin, I don't even need to see what it looks like. I know what the brand is. Then once they see the penguins, I love the penguins. People are collecting the little rare, you know, the, the little one of ones. People are collecting broken rocks. People are all in on pudgy penguins and I am too. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give me a like, a subscribe. It really, really helps. Thank you guys so much. Just remember to say, dang, dang.